Hi, Andrew Waits, back at you with Hardball, this blockbuster novel that everyone, like I said, that's read this book and has uh, gotten back to me, just thinks it's a wonderful, well-written book, and they can't believe it's not a bestseller. So that's what I'm trying to do, is make it a bestseller, or at least a, a middle seller, if there's nothing else. Now today, we have a very interesting and exciting thing to discuss, and that's chapter five, entitled Ultimate. It's when Bob and Emily get assigned with a whole team of ATF agents. They got word that a shipment of guns uh, was being hidden on a South Pacific island. So they got a free trip out to the South Pacific island to go hunt for these guns. And as a result, Bob and Emily merged. And boy, did they have a wonderful merging. And I described that merger in the book. It was as if stampedes of love, lust, and other high-powered emotions were set free and came charging towards one another. The two embraced and cherished the feel of each other in their arms, hands, and fingertips. The surge of electricity, which Emily had felt minutes earlier, had now become nuclear and enveloped her entire existence. The two rolled in the sand, kissed and caressed each other over their entire bodies, and madly displayed their deep affection for one another. The sight of them naked together on the beach seemed as natural a part of the seascape as the beach surrounding them, and the seagulls circling above. Bob's svelte, muscular, and light-skinned body was a brilliant contrast to Emily's full, brown, and spectacularly curved physique. Once again, I get into Emily's breast indirectly with a spectacularly curved physique. The sun rays glistening off her wet body added to the already magnificent shine radiating from her. Now, you know, I spent a couple paragraphs on the build-up there, and I found after writing about sex a couple of times, more than a couple of times, that the build-up was almost as exciting as the actual act. But now we get into the actual act. His penetration into her was as deep as it was gentle, yet hard at precisely the right time. At various moments, she felt the vibration, massaging or light touching along the inside of her vaginal wall and beyond. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Again, I want you to be tempted by some of it and enticed by some of it. Okay. Um, I spent a lot of time thinking and creating these characters, and uh, that's going to be that for chapter five. Let me see if there's anything else. No, that was it. It ended with that. Let me actually let me read the, the last paragraph to show you the significance of the whole darn thing. When it comes, well, let's see. They were quite aware that their overwhelming hunger for each other was something they will only occasionally have the opportunity to satisfy because of their jobs. When it comes, they will cherish it. Regardless, they did not have to choose career over love now. They were embarked on the important mission of exposing Marsh. Their love for each other will always flourish, even if its full expression must be deferred. In any case, the memory that one time the memory of that one time will be etched in their minds forever and grow even more in significance to affect their lives in a powerfully positive fashion. That's the end of that chapter. Now we next go to chapter six. This is our next episode, chapter six, called Attitude. It's where we bring in another character, Ron Rosenberg, and you'll love this guy. He's also a lawyer and is on the team the Get Marsh team, along with Emily and Bob, and he brings a, a lot of style and a lot of 
energy music. So, again, I put those little notes about Hardball Andrew uh, to get the listing of the book. Go up. Just go up on Amazon. It'll take you just a second. Put in Hardball Andrew into the Amazon search engine, as is noted. Down right here. Right here. This has been noted throughout the whole presentation. And I think you'll be enticed. Thank you again. May God and peace be with you.